help us! The yellow turbans are upon us! You have to save our village! Know your place! We are the Imperial Army! We have no time to waste with worthless plans! everything to us. Come, men. We must rescue the villagers. Cut down the yellow turbans. Yes, my lord. We will keep the people safe. That's right, brother. We'll rip those yellow turbans to pieces. Somebody help us! Please! You want my head? Then come and take it if you can! My army only moves forward! Just one to go! Let's Just about done here, but I'm just getting warmed up. During the later Han period, the signs of impending rebellion were everywhere. Corruption within the Imperial Court had thrown the land into chaos and caused the people to suffer greatly. In this time of uncertainty, the people found themselves yearning for change. Zhang Jiao, the leader of a religious sect known as the Way of Peace, fanned the flames of rebellion and formed an army. This uprising would later come to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The threat of the Yellow Turbans loomed like a dark cloud over the Han. Sensing their impending doom, the Imperial Court raised the call for troops across the land. Among those who answered was a man who fought on behalf of the people. His name was Liu Bei, and he was a descendant of Han royalty. Though we may have been born separately, we will die together as one. With this oath taken in the Peach Garden with his sworn brothers, Liu Bei joined the battle. For within his heart, there was no greater cause than to ease the people's suffering. Speak to the person with the red mark above their head to begin the battle. Here, that person is Lord Guan Yu. If you hadn't helped us, we owe you our lives. No, I am simply relieved that you are all okay. Are any of you injured? We are all fine thanks to you. You are a true hero. Look at the size of these guys. They're like giants. They are attacking nearby villages like common thugs. But the Imperial Army refuses to help us. It's simply unbearable. How long must we live in such despair? If you're going on ahead, please be careful. The leader of the Yellow Turbans, Jiang Jiao, is around here somewhere. 
Who are you all? I've never seen you before. I'm thinking of volunteering. I want to get out of this town and make a name for myself. Don't forget me, my lord. I'll fight to keep you safe. I'm just glad we were able to get the women and children to safety. I just wish they'd let us get on with tilling our fields. At this rate, we'll starve. The Imperial Army is just a bunch of bullies. Can we really trust them to defeat the Yellow Turbans? Most of the Yellow Turbans are just peasants. They just don't have enough food to get by. I can't thank you enough. You've really saved us. Lord Jian Yong has always been with you, hasn't he, my lord? You're from the same town, right? The rebellion of the Yellow Turbans is just another sign that this land is in turmoil. Is the Imperial Court just going to abandon us? We have fallen behind the Imperial Army considerably. We must pick up the pace and catch up. What's the big hurry? It's not like they care anyway. We're simply volunteer soldiers. They probably aren't even missing us. No, he is right. We must hurry and catch up with everybody. You're too serious. Well, at least I'll get to go out there and see some action. Zhang Zhao is the man we need to defeat, right? Then let's do this! But the Imperial Army is struggling. Our first priority should be to help them.
arrive just in time. I will make sure you are handsomely rewarded. My audio moves forward. forward. Amazing. We cannot succeed without you. Much left to do. 
Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Retreat. Burn flames of judgment! Turn the infidels to ash! There is nothing to fear. This is a mere parlor trick. Indecision. Hope to achieve by defeating me. All I desire is an end to the chaos. <laughs> you fool. The Han's days are over. Defeating me won't stop anything at all. Perhaps that is so. But wherever people are suffering, I will be there. <laughs> you are so naive, you poor deluded fool. That naivety of yours will bring great suffering to those close to you. Ugh. Was his dream to save the people and the land itself destined to go unrealized? Thanks in large part to the efforts of Liu Bei, the Yellow Turban Rebellion came to a much welcomed end. Afterwards, he continued to fight on behalf of the people, but the chaos showed no signs of abating. Meanwhile, the Han Imperial Court lost the last vestiges of its authority and influence. It was then that the nobleman Yuan Shao rose up. 
We must slay the ten eunuchs who are responsible for this corruption. He gathered together various warlords and eliminated the eunuchs. However, an even greater threat loomed over the assembled warlords. And that threat had a name, Dong Zhuo, a brutal warlord feared far and wide. Dong Zhuo manipulated the young emperor, soon ruling the capital through violence and fear. In response, Yuan Shao assembled the various warlords and formed a coalition against the tyrant. Rather than lament the endless chaos, Liu Bei wished to help the people who were suffering. And so, Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei found themselves heading to join the Allied camp. Before the Sworn Brothers stood the formidable gates of Sushui and Hulao. Two famous faces here today. Yes. Not only do we have Yuan Shao, the leader of the Alliance, but its instigator, Cao Cao, as well. Yuan Shu, Sun Jian, quite a list of dignitaries. Ha. And yet our brother is still unknown. At least. Until we defeat Dong Zhuo here today, that is.